Hey everyone, welcome to another match of Vedrock Domain Zoo. Match one of five going up today. Deck tech was posted this morning, so check that out if you want to know more about this deck. We're playing against humans in this match. Opening hand is decent. Not going to have a 5-5 five five Kavu turn two, but close. Alright, another Aether Vial. Another Aether Vial deck. <laughs> Let's go for Savio Triome here. I believe we'll get a 4-4 out of it. That's perfectly fine by me. Once we get a Breeding Pool or a Hallowed Fountain, we'll get our 5-5. Five five. Oh, there's our stone blade. We got Ketria Triome, which is great, actually. Um, this would also be the time where we kill Stoneforge Mystic. There we go. So let's swing in here. I have a feeling I'm going to... Okay, yeah, I'm exiling. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, sometimes these decks do play Graveyard Recursion. And that's what I'm really concerned about, so might as well get rid of it. Plus, I don't want to discard anything in my hand at the moment. Okay, Sanctum Prelate on two. Doesn't really matter because I'm about to bolt the crap out of it. Yeah, I can dash it. That counts. I mean, that doesn't count, I should say. Okay, well, there we go. Our opponent already quit. <laughs> um, thanks, Rag. <laughs> guess that's what happens uh lightning helix okay interesting interesting choice for removal i feel like i kind of want the life ragavan is the one that's a bit more of a pain here because there's gonna be a lot of creatures i'm gonna have to deal with although it did just get me an auto concession from my opponent so maybe that's worth something okay that's a weird sideboard but i'll take it this hand is extremely land heavy but I kept it. I'm gonna go for that turn two Ragavan. So again, this is why I actually would have probably preferred getting rid of Ragavan. Right, it's about to get bolted. I do have some removal in this, in this hand, and I do have Charlotte's Agent for next turn. So, that's a thing. Tempted to play Temple Garden instead here. Yeah. Play my Shardless. Path to Exile. Perfect. But I can't cast it. <laughs> And I'll cast it. It's going to cost me one extra. Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously going to take the two. But I will kill you next turn. I can kill him as well. So... Path to Exile for Core Firewalker. First, I gotta bolt Thalia. I mean, I don't really have a choice here. No, I mean, okay, this is an interesting line of play. Huh, okay. Not what I would have done now. I mean, I, I don't think I expected them to chump block there. So I guess I want a path now. This is a very weird line of play. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, this was this was just weird. I think I was trying to also be frugal in my my life total, but we wasted a bit of time there. Okay. Yeah, see, this was a mistake. I already knew I made a mistake by doing that play. Like, I, I already knew it was <laughs> stupid. I mean, the game's not over yet, but it's close. So, obviously not going to attack. It's not over yet. But again, this was just all done very poorly. Very, very, very poorly. And here I'm just hedging. I'm hedging that they don't have any more creatures to put in end of turn. They only have one card in hand, so they have. <laughs> okay. This was just poorly played. This was like a punt. A complete punt by me. Um, complete punt. Yeah, that's just horrible. Do not do not play that way. Do not play the way I played game two. That's just a stupid way to play. Should have just done, I should have just pulled the trigger, gone rid of Thalia that turn, gone rid of the uh, Mirrodin Crusader. I just, I don't know why I waited. It's just horrible, horrible planning. So that was a punt. Perfect. Just in time to get our breeding pool. Creature spell, got it. I'll avoid non creature spells for now. Don't think I'm really afraid of Sentinel at the moment. I have lethal next turn, assuming they do nothing here to my creatures. So. Again, this is where Tribal Flames just really shines. Don't think Imperial Recruiter is going to be enough. I suppose it depends what they go get, but... If it's not a flyer, and it's not removal... It is not enough. GG. All right, so let's just pretend we didn't see game two <laughs> because that's not how you're supposed to play magic in general. 
and uh, pay focus on games one and game three. So we took out humans, which was great. Again, humans, another aggro deck, can go wide. It's pretty, it can be taxing as well. This kind of had a death and taxes style to it. It was pretty much more or less mono white with some red support. Um, and yeah, we still got through. We still beat them. It was still fun to play against, except for game two, when it was just being stupid. Uh, and again, Vadrog Domain Zoo just being brutal and always putting on the pressure. It's always nice to be able to see the humans deck playing on its heels or, or any aggro deck playing on its heels. If you're able to do that with your own aggro deck, then you have a winning combination in my opinion. And I think we got that with Vadrog Domain Zoo. Let me know what you thought about this match in the comment section down below and feel free to poop all over me for my game 2 performance. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Enjoy my content in general. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, share my content on social media. Watch it start to finish like you're doing right now, listening to me speak about my own stuff. It really helps a lot. Every second does count. If you want to support me on Patreon, check out the Patreon link in the description of this video as well. Check out my Patreon rewards program. In short, you give me your Patreon dollars every month. I buy sealed product. I open up on this channel. All the valuable rares and mythics get shipped back to you. Simple as that. Uh, you get one bulk, non-bulk, sorry, rare mythic for every month that you're a patron. Um, up to 24 months, and accumulation, all that information is on my Patreon page. But basically, you know, if every rare mythic I send you is 5 bucks in value, more or less, and they are between 3 and $15, well, you're going to make your money back and some. So, check it out. Thanks, and have a good one.